how to unpost. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. So I go into the sink. Exited host mode, but I didn't do anything. I guess I am now. Whoa! Oh no, the guys face. I gotta find a really good place for us to do this. <laughs> I love this delay. Yeah, it's a pretty big delay. Uh, it's just been like watching us this whole time. <laughs> la la la! Twitter. Facebook. <laughs> No, not Twitch. Twitter. That's weird. I don't want to like spam pseudo, so I'm just not gonna tag him on this one. Yeah. Maybe I'll have like a hashtag or something instead. I kinda can't send him for Ubri because my number is like unavailable for use. What? Yeah. I can call you an Uber. Alright. Why? I don't know. It's just like the contact like customer support, so I guess I'll do that afterwards. That's not my hair. <laughs> That's the wrong hair color. Man, I kinda wish I had more hair now. <laughs> You'll get it back. Yeah. Okay. This always happens whenever I do something different. I'm like, oh, I don't regret this. And I don't regret it. It's a nice haircut. Damn yeah. It, no. But it's still like, oh, my hair. <laughs> I really like this whole thing. It's still 90s. But yeah. like, it's still like modern, like, visual novel. Totally in these people's ways. Whoops! Oh no, did I like actually accidentally left the uh, well. Whoa. There we go. Oh hi! Hello! Hi! Can you hear us? La 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 la! Pretty delayed too. <gasps> Yay, my friend Super Saturn is like is doing the thing. You can hear us? Oh good. Oh my god, I'm so happy. She talking to the mic. This is my friend Lewis. Hey. Lewis Looper. He's joining me tonight to do this stream. Ow my finger! <laughs> oh my god, that really hurt. <laughs> it just crossed my leg when I squished my finger. Hey everybody, <laughs> thanks for joining. Just a bit distorted? Okay. That sucks. We were trying to use, um, I wonder, now I kind of want to try and like see if it'll work. Yeah, because, okay, so I got a snowball here, but it didn't seem like it was detecting the sound, but I had the same problem with the webcam too, but now it seems to be detecting, so let's try this again. It might go quiet for a little bit, guys, but I'll be back. <clears throat> Holy shit. Duh. Okay. So okay, can you hear us now? Uh oh. <laughs> um yeah, so I plugged in the blue snowball. 
No, it's not actually Silver Jenkin. It's called Silver Case. <laughs> but the name keeps changing every time I try and put it in here. Silver Case. Okay, but then when I update, it's just like, oh, nope. Nope, you can hear us. Oh, sweet, good. <laughs> okay, does it sound a bit better? Here, you should say something, Louis. You guys can hear me? Please? Maybe? Maybe. Perhaps. <laughs> I hope so. Okay. I just want to make sure because this is going to be a very narrative game and we need to make sure that you guys can hear us. I don't know why I'm looking at the webcam. <laughs> I mean, it's good. It's good too, but like, I kind of want to make sure. Yeah. Much better. Okay. Sweet. I'm so happy that's actually working. Um, yeah. Cause this is, uh, this is the first game by Suda51. Just came out on Steam today. It originally came out on the PS1. Yeah. I remember you were telling me about it yesterday and I had never even heard of this game. And I was like, what? Suda had this game? Yeah. I mean, I didn't know too much about it. I knew it was a visual novel and it never got released outside of Japan. But um, yeah, the new PC release looks really good. So, sorry for that. I'm super excited. Yeah. It's gonna be really great. And you know, I was really interested in doing um, visual novel reviews, but I didn't want to do like any of the dirty ones or the waifu ones. Yeah. So it was like, no, I want to do something more serious. And this one seems like it's much more of like a cyberpunk, uh, crime, mystery, detective visual novel. So, hello everybody! I mean, <laughs> there's a lot of you, but hello Walter. Um, and I... I, I we were talking about, it's, it's like somehow like connected with this one, right? With flowers, sun, and rain here. So it's supposed to be. That's what I heard from people whenever I talked yeah. to them about this game. I'm not sure how, but it seems pretty loosely tied to it. This is another really good suit game. I highly suggest playing it. It's basically like Groundhog's Day. Um, this guy who's just constantly reliving the same day over again. Yeah. Yes! Okay, so y'all are ready? I'm so excited. I feel so much better tonight than I did before. I did not feel very good last night. I think I might be getting better finally. <laughs> Yay, this is gonna be great. Okay, cool. So I hope you enjoy our commentary and stuff. Can you see this okay? I'll move yeah, now. Okay. It's pretty good. Okay, cool. Settings. I love how it like glitches and yeah. everything. Okay, so we're not gonna do it in full. Well, it might be a little bit of a drag. Um, English, okay. That's good. Oh wow, this sounds better than Monday. That's good. Is the music too loud in the game though? Because I can lower that. It's like really nice music. Yeah. I'm so happy, Abby. Thanks for letting me know. Maybe I'm just going to keep using this. I like how we probably won't even need the keyboard either. <laughs> gonna start a new game. I'm gonna be your storyteller for today, tonight, and we're gonna play. <laughs> Who are you? Um, I'm gonna do lowercase. <laughs> Tad lower? Okay. Oh shit, what happened? What happened to the game? Where did it go? I don't know. Oh no! It's still like in the background. Yeah, because there's really? this delay. Yeah. No! <laughs> Why do games keep doing this to me? Oh hey, there it's it working now. Yay! You know, I've had too many bad experiences with Nidhogg to know anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm just a media. Oh crap, that's so weird. Yeah, it's like a Hello. random delay then. Where did it go? Uh oh. What? Okay, that's weird. Yeah. It okay. almost it almost makes it seem like it's just going away. Okay, Kanto government, special administrative region, twenty four wards. In accordance with the increasing population, it has been segmentalized into five areas. 
Among the inhabitants selected by public vote, 80% are poor and 20% are wealthy, creating a rift in the economic strata. Which seems very much like a dystopian yeah. future. I could see this getting kind of boring. <laughs> <Eventually. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> The most outstanding source of conflict among the classes is caused not by the difference in income, but by the discord between those with easy access to information and those without. <laughs> yeah, it's like slamming your face against the keyboard, just like constantly moving it back and forth. Like. <laughs> it's like, oh dear. The number of crimes has skyrocketed, and related information is propagated using news shows and communication intelligence networks as media. <laughs> population of a hundred thousand people. Mm. Mayor Hachisuka enters his fifth term of office. Fifth. Okay. The Metropolitan Police Department's heinous crimes unit, <laughs> that's great, <laughs> is an organization that immediately eradicates transmittable crimes. Mm. 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 It is a group of experts coordinated by Chief Special Agent Shinji Kotobuki, an investigator who made a name for himself with the Silver Case. Silver Case head and former regional special agent, also known as the man who arrested Kamui, 24 Area 2nd Heinous Crimes Division, uh, Special Agent uh, Tetsugoro Kasabi was on his way home. I'm so sorry if I pronounced people's names wrong, guys. <laughs> I'm not very good at those. Tetsugoro Kasabi, age 44. It happened one night in the dead of winter. Ooh, this is weird. Hmm. Okay, interesting. Very minimal. So we're going to the bank. <laughs> January 29th, 1999. Oh, never mind. <laughs> it's Friday. Alternate history. Are you kidding? Oh, I don't think I can say that on my stream. <laughs> what is this? A bleep and bleep? <laughs> <laughs> that kind of takes the edge away. Yeah. Bleep it, Ray. <laughs> I know. Play another question. I can say shit, but I can't say people. I don't know how old my viewers are. I mean, for the most part, I do, but still. <laughs> yeah, you want to jump the gun. Exactly. Am I going to die? No, probably not. Is this road really this long? A night like this, weird shit happens. Oh, that's just the way it is. This is like a very pseudo experience. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I, I like how this is not the full screen. Though. It's almost like a comic. Yeah, exactly. What? Got a bad feeling. Real bad feeling. I want to know what all these keywords are for. This is so cool. It's so beautiful. Oh no, his face isn't showing. <laughs> okay. Maybe we should like... Maybe we should, drop it down to like the other side. Yeah, maybe we should drop it down to the other side. Okay, we're gonna go there now. <laughs> We've transported ourselves over here. Please go back to the game. A man? What is that? Okay. Is it guys on foot? I'm not going to scream out here. Oh! Holy crap. I'll selectively read these. His ass is going down for sure. <laughs> yeah, so old school. Love this. This is Kusagi. Anybody there? Respond. This is Hachisuka. Where's Sumu? This is Sumuo. 
Shots from flood near the river and in water. Call in the closest units. <laughs> oh no! It's like cutting into there now. No! Yeah. This is tricky! Yeah, there's no perfect spot for this. No, there is not. Okay, let me fix this one more time, just so I have an idea. The, the text is, like, everywhere. Oh, we're gonna go over here now. Maybe we could go, like, in the middle. Yeah, like, somewhere in the middle. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna go here. Yeah. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we just, we don't want to cover up the text, especially if there's parts that we're not gonna, we're not gonna read. Cause I'm not gonna read everything. Uh, OP Espresso, this game is currently on PC. You can get it on Steam. Um, this was originally on the PS1, and it was Suda51's first game, just so you know. Nothing yet. Got it. Is it within jurisdiction? Hold on. Shit. <laughs> TGI up my ass. That's great. Yeah. That's cool. That kind of reminds me of like those Zero Escape games. I see. Yeah. Yeah, sorry if our heads are in the way of the text. <laughs> We're trying. <laughs> Private railroad satellite. Please tell me about it. Send the location to that city. Got it. I really dig this music. Yeah. It's really it cool. Super 90s. Yeah, it's super 90s. Yeah. Which is great because it takes place in the 90s as well. Yeah. It just yeah. all works. I wonder what year it was actually released on the PS1, actually. That's a good question. Okay. Has anyone in chat ever played this game before? It's a really good question. You know, I went on eBay looking for this game and I couldn't even find the import version of it. So it's just mm. like, I have no idea. Um, but yeah, if any of you have played it or part of it before, I would love to hear. <laughs> The first mayor of the 24 wards, Kaoru Hachisuka, launched the government's anti-conflict reforms. The Department of Communications and the Department of Finance structured around the former TRO, and the Department of the Environment and Department of Investments structured around the former CCO. He fostered the sweeping organizational reforms to success. Like intense in your face. I kind of wish it sounded more like a, an actual typewriter or something. You yeah, know? I mean it, it sounds like that, just like super fast. Yeah, but um, where was I? But the Department of Security, with the Central Police Department's heinous crimes division, former T. R O faction and the Public Security Department's Secret Security Division, former C C O faction, was comprised of two separate factions. Yeah, I could definitely see the premise that he was in here too. Really? He actually created three games before this one? You know, oh, wow. That's really weird. Yeah. I don't know, like, they kind of advertise it, even on, like, didn't they um, advertise it as, like, his first game? I think so, yeah. I thought they did. Yeah. Same with, like, Unlimited Run Games. I yeah, yeah. Fairly certain they. Yeah, um, it seems that's like really that. interesting. Abby, you have like so much information about this kind of stuff. I would love to hear more, though. Because Abby's got like a computer brain, <laughs> just knows everything. <laughs> really? That would have been great. That would have been perfect to go alongside Flower, Sun, and Rain. Ooh. 
Yeah, it does yeah, sound like a woodpecker yeah, exactly, typing. Yeah. The Public Safety Department, to compete with the Heinous Crimes Division, established the Republic Special Forces Unit to handle secret security cases. <laughs> yeah, we'll get used to it, I guess. Yes. Silver Case, head and former Regional Investigation Unit Investigator Daigo Natsume, was offered the position of commander. Natsume then scouted Sakamoto, Inamata, and Ezra for the unit. <laughs> I like how my name is just like, just, we don't even need to use uppercase. Yeah, it's fine. It's like I'm a hacker or something. For the Republic's first campaign, they ironically run into the heinous crimes division. As Natsune and Kasabi's fates intertwine, the dark clouds of the Silver Case loom. Ooh. I don't know what's gonna happen. A long night lies ahead for Daigo Natsume. Go into call now. This is such an interesting interface here. Yeah. <laughs> A detective under a jurisdiction is already en route Hand off. 
I had already thrown my life away, so I didn't care. No matter what would have happened. Thinking about it now, being young, I should have been full of hope. But it didn't matter. Young, old, whatever. I got plenty of peace and jumped in like me. Just popping caps all over the place. You know, the years. <laughs> I miss every shot. All of a sudden, I'm surrounded. Ten guns pointed right at me. That's when I first met the chief. Why didn't he choose me? Or why did he choose me? He told me to put my life in his hands and he took me in. Same for you too, right, Ezra? Picked up by the chief. In Amato too. You don't think about your own life. Me and you. We'll carry out our lives. We put our hope in him. Don't forget it. Oh yeah, Twilight Syndrome. I've heard of those. They also directed Fire Pro Wrestling games. That's crazy. Huh. Oh, that's the Grasshopper Manufacturer's first game. Okay, okay that makes yeah, so yeah, much yeah. more sense. Thanks, Abby. I'm glad. I'd rather have that kind of context, so I actually know this. Cool. Oh no, we're like in the way of the... It's <laughs> not... We're still in the way. Yeah, it's not that good. Okay. Where's Natsume? He writing at Cauliflower E3. Like nothing. Let's see. Let's see. It kind of feels like it's just PS1 with like pump press graphics. Yeah. Yeah. Not that that's a bad thing. Yeah. It's pretty good. It does. It does. Let's decide on formation after entry. I'll get instructions from HQ over the radio. You guys are basically like guinea pigs. Refrain from acting arbitrarily and prioritize the collection of sample data. Any questions? That is all. Okay, sync your watches. Sakamoto, count us down. Got it. Countdown to zero. Start the countdown in normal time. Don't forget, this is not an exercise. You need to remember that this is the real thing. Again, this is an actual fight. Come back alive. That is all. Good luck. Um, I wonder what's gonna happen now. Am I gonna change? That's very interesting. Hey, BB. Thanks for stopping by. Guinea pigs, huh? What a way to win a soldier. One of your soldiers? So it was you. I heard you were back in the field. You too, right? So you want the final gamble to me? I don't gamble. I'm in a self defense mood. What about you, Kasabi? I sort of that thing up. I like how it selects their faces yeah. to show the speaking. It is the silver case. The heinous crimes you have. I thought you'd come too. I didn't think we'd meet up like this. You can never go back there again. You're not a strong man as you saw me. It's not about that. It's because they can use me. That's strength. Being young and all. Just like your soldiers. You've got your young ones to take over in the next generation. There's still plenty of shit you gotta show them. Sorry. That's soon. You keep snow. It's not just this anymore. Don't overwork yourself. You've still got a long ways to go. 
That may be true. I'll stop for a little bit. She just turned 22. She's graduating college this year. It is so big. No oh, she She's become a proper woman yet. What does that mean? A proper woman. She takes after my wife. Real stubborn. <laughs> you know how she is. She's not a little girl anymore. It's not a good thing. What if she acts like she hates me? Your daughter's so more precious than any Really? Chief, we're moving in. Okay. Second like order. Go in first, then eat a matzo and ask me. Got it. That's enough nostalgia for now. Go back to the eyes up too. Thanks. Yeah, I'm taking the sand too. It's basically a war zone. It's really curious. I just want to see more environments so I have more of an idea on like what we can expect from this, you know? This is Natsume. Do you read me? Loud and clear. Yamada and Ezra are both okay. I'll forward you to set points. Get on your respective points and get into formation. Got it. Ezra, calm down. Wait for my orders. Stay in position. Yamada, do you read me? The obstacles in front of you create a blind spot. Make sure you get proper confirmation. Don't forget that the perp... The perp? Oh, the perpetrator. Okay. That the perp is our ideal person. Or you'll get yourselves killed. I know. Stop bleeping around. You idiot! <laughs> You're the nucleus of the 24 wards of private railroad. And since citizens are going to be killed, they start shooting like a maniac. Got it. Sakamoto, go in ahead. Ezra. Got it. Ezra, listen. There's a plate up ahead of you. Check it out. Go ahead to the second floor, Chief. Wait, don't leave yet. Got it. So much got it. Got it. Okay. Ezra, get moving. It'll take some time before you get used to the controls. And it'll seem complicated at first. Oh, goody. But don't. You'll get used to it. It'll get easy. Easy. When the menu opens, so you can get a ring to M and press the accept button. So we'll have to use this, huh? Use the directional keys to move. Um, Directional keys can 
forward, backwards, left, and right. Hold the accept button to leave. Use it well. Accept button. Hold the accept button. Uh, hopefully it's through. I hope so. <laughs> C is contact. Use it to touch stuff. When you see the sun symbol in front of you, use C. Okay. I is implement. This is for tools. I'll let you work out where to use it. S is save. This is for reference. You may save on any point. Try saving once. As I said earlier, it may seem complicated. You can do it as well. I believe in you. That is all. Alright. Going on here. 
Oh, hey. Oh, my God. That's nice. Grasshopper uh, retweeted the stream for tonight. That's kind of killer. <laughs> nice. Friend Anthony, who I was hanging out with earlier from Team 4, started to see we're going to do good tonight. <laughs> it's uh, definitely a much more niche game, but uh, I think it'll be an interesting one to do Let's Plays for. Okay, let's see here. I don't understand why there's that little star. I don't want to know what that means. Ezra, check out the plate. Is that the plate? In contact with the front of the plate. The plate is, the no is to the north. And Jeez, I feel dumb. I guess so if you don't go any north. Yeah, like it's at maximum north. Uh -huh. I guess you can't move anymore. So contact points, so I press I think so, yeah. Plate. There we go. Okay, okay. That makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're gonna inspect the plate. So this plate isn't for decoding. It's for real estate authentication. Authentication. It's not even a word. Looks like it. Chief, I found a switch. Probably the lights. Turn it on. Got it. Do I have to learn how to do it? Ezra, show them the light for you. Yeah, should be a control panel nearby. Check it out. Just do everything for us. No matter what's up. I think I saw someone up above. Uh, I'm gonna, or I'm going in ahead. No, that's a bad idea. Don't act on your own. Sakamoto, stand down. Let him go on ahead. Really? That's kind of weird. Yeah, it is kind of weird. It wouldn't, it doesn't always sound like something you would generally say. Yeah. Considering how I'm tight this one. Inamata, I'm gonna forward you to the tar be the target point. Don't go too far. Got it. Thank you. Is this gonna be okay? I don't care. If anyone's gonna hurt and die, I won't stop them. Got it. That's right, about the control panel. During the flip to use the app panel, we're not gonna do it now. Blah blah blah. Look hard and you'll find it. Get on it. Alright, sir. Right. So am I supposed to be looking at this? Or am I supposed to be somewhere else now? Um, you talked about a light switch. I'm not sure where the light switch is. Stand in front of the supercomputer terminal to the north. Then look down. Try hitting the contact button again. This is definitely coming handy. I'm assuming this is like the last time it'll be nice to me. And they're just going to make everything difficult. <laughs> Okay. How about it, Ezra? You understand? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'll check. Not yet. It's probably something that will change the structure. It's for decryption code input. Let's hope you work it out. Don't mess with it. Ezra, I'm going to back up in a model. Uh, I'm going up. Come with me. Oh no. I won't know what it is now, anyways. I just want to see how it works. Yeah. Okay. We gotta find clues. Okay. Let's see. I don't remember where I'm supposed to go. Do you remember where? No. <laughs> Okay. I mean, we now know how to like make contact and stuff, so maybe like <laughs> click on as many things as possible. <laughs> so the contact point right there. That's right. You know what the sun symbol is? You know, huh? No. Keep an eye on the mark in front of your eyes. There's nothing on the triangle symbol. With the sun symbol, there's always something there. Go search for it. Okay, so now. Oh, it's like a yellow card. Oh, hey. Good eye. Oh, that's so cool. Nice. I want that manga. You got a comic beam. Sweet. That makes so much more sense now. Okay, cool. So let's just get all this shit. Oh, it's pointing at it. See where it says contact point? Yeah. On the right side, there's an oh. arrow. 
Okay, so looking at it, it's got those two circles. And aside from that, it points in whatever direction you need. Okay, so it's here. Yeah. There's really not much more I can do on here unless it's possible to actually run this. <laughs> That's so helpful. Look at that text. Yeah. That's great. So helpful. Alright. Well, let's check some other stuff here. He said that there's nothing where triangles would be. Yeah. Okay, so that's that. This is this. Okay. This is a very interesting interface. I like it though. It's kind of like grid based. Yeah. yeah you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Oh no, what happened? <gasps> is this still going? I hope so. Let's check. <laughs> What happened? Is this still streaming? It's weird. Can y'all still see the stream? Because I can't. <laughs> Just curious. Alright, is there like a staircase here or something? <laughs> I think you have to do something with that computer. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes, Yeah? Yeah? She wants to Yeah, good. I'm glad stuff is happening. It's weird because I can only see like my thumbnail that I usually have. So that's fun. Let's see. We don't have to stop a little bit. So we're rushing to the second floor. Okay, so am I going there too? <laughs> How do I get there? Uh, I don't. I don't get how I would know what it is, you know what I mean? I'm like, that's not... Yeah. What is happening? Is that what... What? What is it doing? That's weird. I wonder yeah. if I should keep tabs on that. Maybe. You think? It's just kind of a weird connection of numbers. This is a good time to have a pen. Yeah. <laughs> this seems like a good game to have a pen for. Um, okay. <laughs> oh, screw. screw the pen. Clear. Exit. Kitten's very cute. Aw, glad. How do I. Where's the staircase? There's a staircase here somewhere. Okay, so there's the upper part. How do you like my cat? She is funny. How do you? I don't want to ask the like I'm an idiot. Like, oh, look at the pictures. Yeah, I understand. Wish I could have like more of a conversation with him. Yeah, I mean, it's just the toilet time, so like, might as well just like bash everything. Yeah. I'm so happy you're here, so I'm not like, oh my god, how do I do this? This is a puzzle. <laughs> this is clearly a puzzle up here. Maybe I can take this yellow doorway. Got it? The doorway opens. Nice. Ooh. Okay, so I'm moving up. <laughs> I didn't realize that I could interact with that door now. <laughs> Cool. This kind of reminds me of the Zero Escape games. Yeah, a little bit. Sakamoto. I can't pinpoint Tanamata. This room is using an absorber. An absorber? Like an anti jamming device? Seems like it. That's what the data says. Uh, it's designated as a structure of unknown use. This sort of accident must be expected. Zora and Mata. Back him up. Got it. Ready, Sakamoto? Take the lead from here on out. Got it. 
Help him find a set of sights in the town. Let him, or lead him up to you. I'll take care of him. Got it. That's right. This door lock passed you. The code is complicated, but don't worry. Very obvious info required to unlock the door. The soon needs to be decrypted. Unfortunately, you don't have the password yet. First, find the password. I'll check the right. Then check the door on the left. Okay. Now follow him and turn the right. Yeah. It's locked. Oh, crud. <sighs> I don't even look at this, though. Let's look at the door. Please. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. Lowercase.com access code 04052016. I need a pen. Stat. I have a stylus. This is not a pen. Good enough. Can we, like, no, but there's nothing in here. Uh, Q and H E X K. Can you remember that? Uh, I'll try. <laughs> I feel like I should get a pen. Yeah, yeah, somewhere. Yeah, go find one. Where? Oh, maybe here. I don't wish I... Oh, hey, there's a pen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, pen time. It's a good thing I got my sticky notes here. Okay. Oh, chance dog, Flores. Oh, <laughs> yay! Y'all rock. I should have known. I didn't think that through. I do love my point-and-click adventures, and I like, I like puzzles like this. It's good. It's good stuff. Uh, please. So, uh, please enter it. Yes. Is that good? Cool. Can we open this door now? Yeah. Wow. We just, like, rushed into that door. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, I guess you don't need it if you know where the stars are. You just head in the direction of the stars. That's what the yeah. park says. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's great. Sorry if our faces are in the way, girl. I was thinking about that. I'm like, our faces are totally in the way that girl. Oh, well. Cauliflower, are more. soundtrack, a manga, an art book. Yeah. It's have a bunch of stuff, so I pre-ordered it. <laughs> and it's also supposed to come with a Steam key as well, so um, I didn't want to wait, obviously, until then. That's like December, right? So I figure that when I do end up getting um, my physical copy, I'm going to do like a giveaway or something for anybody who's interested in playing this, or just going to do a or something. I'll figure something out, right? right, right. Um, and yeah, so... That'll happen eventually, but for now I just really had to play it, so I just bought it on the scam on a whim. Um, okay, we're gonna enter in here. And uh, I highly recommend checking out limited run games. Uh, people were recommending it to me on my Vita review like, um, this past bit, and I'm really happy that people did because I missed out on a lot of stuff. It's all limited run stuff. So. It's self-explanatory. Um, it's, uh, yeah. Kinda wish I knew about some of those beforehand, you know? Yeah, yeah. I can use them. Oh, no! Oh, how do you know? No! Oh, no! shoot? I guess so. That's so weird. Yeah. This is oddly anticlimactic in yeah. ways, you know? <laughs> it's, it's like, like what, what is happening? I'm injured now. You left it on your own. I got no sympathy for you. We're getting back up now. There are survivors on the second floor. Get them out of there. Got it. You heard America. I'm going downstairs. Our guy's in the back. He's, in, he's pretty fucked up. <laughs> it's like he's not afraid to die. You know, it's more like he's enjoying the risk of death. He's laughing. How about the fact that he's about to get killed? <laughs> WTF? <laughs> Laughing all cynically like that. He can't accept his own death. Typical criminal. Ezra, kill the mother. Bleep! He <laughs> <laughs> won't even let the world know this guy exists. Just dispose of his ass. <laughs> hey, Sakamoto, you listening? That's my job. This guy's pretty stiff. Is that a problem? I don't screw around. Falling back. Sakamoto, Ezra, it's up to you guys. What happened to you, dude? You just like up and just lost it? Oh. This kind of reminds me of Moon as well on the DS. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It kind of has that sort of feel as well, too. Yeah. yeah, barely a flesh wound, indeed. Oh, hey, I have all the coins. Yeah, thank you. It's just a bullet wound, nothing serious. <laughs> awesome, limited run games can get pretty cool. I've been trying to get into early access and beta testing games. Oh, crow. You gotta get me in on that. <laughs> that sounds awesome. WTF? <laughs> I'm just gonna replace her with that. Christ, she's so young. Oh no, someone's dead. The target is up above. I can't let this guy get away with this. I can't tell the mother bleeper. <laughs> Let's move. Holy man. What? It's 
I feel like if I don't write them down, I might screw myself over. This is a weird system, though. Every time you find a door, you basically get the answer for it. It's just strange. Yeah, I know. Oh, weird game. It's a good week for Minamata. Minamata, do you need me? Minamata! Come on! Oh! <laughs> He's done for! You should all have silly voices. I'm definitely not keeping this serious. I can't. You just gotta roll with it. When you go back down and remember the control panel. Once you spin the sword, open this up. You ready? Can I just do it now? I kind of just set everything up like last minute. So yeah. It might just feel a little bit odd. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just getting used to using the snowball for streaming, so that's why I'm asking for input. I do appreciate that very much. Ezra, don't rush ahead. But I want to. I want to be the hero. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Okay, we're on the rooftop. Full moon is out. Werewolves. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Werewolves are coming. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a very strange game. Yeah. It doesn't, I actually don't even know if we're going to have any kind of puzzles. I almost feel like it's something where we just sort of um, follow along. Like it's purely yeah. web based and it's trying to create immersion through thinking that you're doing puzzles. Yeah. Maybe? I don't know. I'm not really familiar with this. This is Natsume. Oh my god. Maybe he was like, maybe he's possessed. Oh, maybe. You know, I actually think, I'm thinking about that now. I'm like, you know what, there's got to be some sort of supernatural element, because there always is in this. Always. Yeah, yeah. yeah, maybe that girl like took over his body or something. And he's the new host or yeah. something. Well, that first guy with a gun, he just kind of like disappeared. Yeah. But... It was very mysterious. Yeah. Ezra? Aw, oh, thanks, Spider. I'm not totally better. Like, I'm still on my medication. Um, my, this, uh, prescription spray. Um, like, uh, nasal spray. But my sinuses are definitely getting a bit better. So, let's just hope that it stays that way. Uh, I have all the coins. This is on PC. You can buy it on Steam. It just became available today, actually. Uh, and it was Suda's first game with Grasshopper Manufacture. So, yeah, I love Suda. So if you like Suda and you're interested in really obscure games like this, then I would say definitely check it out. Got you lost. I haven't found the target. You be hiding in a blind spot. Move with caution. What happened to Sakamoto and Anamara? Have they gone in for backup? What model did we 
we got this time. Ooh, that's so cool looking! Oh my god, that reminds me of JoJo. It does, yeah. Yeah, you got another comic name manga. Whoa, that was cool. I'm not expecting to do that. Move cautiously. Don't do anything stupid. No, I didn't get to play the Dracula games. I would like to very much, though. I just want to play more point and click adventures, like more serious toned ones, and then have like one day where I stream. Because I still want to do three days, I just don't know if I can do Wednesday nights. I feel like I get especially tired on Wednesday nights. Probably the Street Fighter 5 crowd is pretty. Intense, yeah, they're pretty you know? They yeah. are pretty crazy. Um, so maybe I'll do this on Thursdays or something. I don't know. Or like maybe I'll do Monday, Tuesday, Friday, or Monday, Thursday, Friday. I don't know. I'll try something, but I'm going to have one day dedicated specifically to visual novels. I really want to do that. I want to do something more low key, you know? Oh no, another girl. What happened? Oh, my God, this is cold. Oh, so scary. Yeah. <laughs> oh hell no. <laughs> yeah. A survivor. Ezra, leave them for now. I got it. Don't fuck this up. Tag is hiding close by. It's so messed up. What the heck is happening? Oh, 
he's going to say it <laughs> under his breath. Well, that's just how it is. Complete exactly. Hey, baby, please. Yeah. The one that looks like a chinchilla. An Ezra. How should I know? The chinchilla. I don't know the chinchilla. I don't know what he means. I don't really know what he means by that either. Oh my god, police knots. Yes. Really cool. Very expensive though. Like Snatcher as well. Oh yeah. I would love to do a Let's Play Snatcher. Yeah. It's super cool. You can emulate it now. Yeah, I, you know, emulation is not really something that I would really want to do, but for a game like that. Yeah. If I could find like a repro board or something, I would. Yeah. With like a transition or something. Why the hell did he fire him from some fear or something so he can kill himself from if Ezra didn't fire? Hey A to J, thanks for joining. Hi. This is my friend Lewis. To anybody who's wondering who this dude is beside me. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna get your ass killed. This guy looks so smug. Listen, Chinchilla. <laughs> this is burning to this guy's eyeballs. Wow, that was overkill. <laughs> Hi, Pikachu. Pika, Pika. You listen up too, straight edge. Straight edge? What? Is that an insult now? Hey, catcher. Why are we disposing of these guys? Any idea? So to anyone here who's like, what is going on right now? I'm playing a Suda 51 game. It's like a visual novel detective murder mystery style game with like some, some uh, interesting elements. So far I'm not seeing anything like cyberpunk necessarily, but definitely more on the like dystopian side for sure. And maybe some supernatural stuff, that's what it seems like. But yeah, this was Suda's first game with Grasshopper. It's called The Silver Case. It was just released on Steam on Thursday. So I thought I would do a little of this here because I've always wanted to do a visual novel let's play or stream or whatever. Or are we disposing of these guys? Any idea? They're criminals. So? This guy's a killer. Look at this childish bullshit. You're a funny guy, Nasuna. You do some really unique shit. Listen up. Disposal is taking these motherfuckers out of this world. I almost feel like that's something Samuel L. Jackson would say. Yeah. Get rid of their very existence so nobody ever has to even see them again. This crime virus they're spreading around, cut it off at the source. Annihilation of the self. That's what we do. Mine's Marvel. I'm not playing Marvel. Huh? I'm playing. I'm playing this game. <laughs> what are you talking about? Road Avenger game? What's Road Avenger? I don't know that. Tenacious. You guys take over for me and watch your backs. Wow, we got like Oh, that's not serious at all. No. Motherfucker, is that it again? Who is this? I don't know. I'm trying to figure out like, what's going on. It feels like everyone's just like possessed. It's not that like they're just committing crimes. Yeah. This is what crimes. Crimes brings. This is the demon brought on by their criminal powers. So that guy who's dead is like, spirit. Like spirit yeah. Can you shoot him, Chicha? Can you take him on? Fire. This is very moment. Use a camera. What? Oh, they're inside. Why? Oh, my God. 
I guess so. Oh no, Catcher, do I sound like I'm underwater? I'm using my snowball mic right now. I'm like, using my headset, obviously. Um, and we kind of set it up really last minute. Oh, cool. So we finished the first part. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, so sorry if uh, the quality's a little meh. Some people are saying that the quality is actually better, so I don't really know. I think it's relative? I'm not sure. I have no idea. What? What? Why we exit too far back? Um... Do I exit? No, I think you're supposed to load. I think somehow you, like, hit all the way back. Oh. What's this? So weird. Am I in the car? I don't know, this is weird. This is so weird. It looks like a radio. Yeah. It almost sounds like I hear her twice with a very small delay between both. Weird. Well, guys, there's not much I can do about that. <laughs> I gotta figure out how to get this snowball running properly. Let's see what we got here. That's really strange. I'm really sorry about that. It's all good? Okay, cool. As long as it's not like, you know, really affecting the experience right now. Um, lunatics case zero. Okay, so I guess that was case zero. Yeah. And now we're on to case one. Decoy man? Okay, so this is the next chapter. Number one, decoy man. Ah, I love the look of this game. It's so interesting. I love this. What time is it now? Uh, let's see. I think we can do this one more chapter and then... Yeah, sure. Yeah? Okay, cool. So we're gonna do this one more chapter and then we're gonna call it quits for tonight. I wanna get my beauty sleep. Tetsu, Kamui's gonna make a move. Huh? What the hell do you mean? He's gonna wake up. Is this info from your place? No. I don't know that much. Then what? Pocket money. To help me. Don't overestimate civil servants. Overtime for this quarter is getting cut. Fine, never mind then. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Shoot your ass dead where you stand. Kidding, kidding. It's just a hunch, but... I listen to people, right? At that time, what one time? Just before the silver thing. And? Oh no. And? So what? Trying to tell me that your toothpicks are supposed to be some sort of antenna or shit about to go down or something? Exactly! I'm gonna jerk off in this day and age believes that superstitious bullshit. No, really, I'm telling you, it's accurate. You really should believe it. Right about now, he's taken life slow in the clink. Not even gone and reformed himself by now. Don't underestimate what my teeth can do. I'm telling you, I've got a knack for 
has had a second sight. Okay, then. I believe you. I get it, but I believe you. What am I supposed to do now? Ah, uh, good night, Vader. Thanks for joining in on the stream. Yeah, you too. Hmm. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. They take like live action footage. It's really sweet. She done running now? Oh. oh. Something tells me this is not good enough. <laughs> yeah. Uehara Kamui, resident record control number M6Q1G. Oh, one G. It's not a G. That's an eight. One eight seven two six six five. Registered locality uh, not available. Current address not available. Date of birth not available. Points bulletin number K one five nine seven seven eight three six. Yeah, I like these F and B segments. March 1979, Central Police Designation Case, number QF861. It's weird, I always want to say G when I see an 8. Hmm. That's strange. A little bit. Yeah, AKA okay, the Silver Case, arrested during commission of a crime. This happened in 1979. So must be some serious case if it's constantly being referred back, you know? Yeah. It's Sasuke. <laughs> yeah, it kind of does. <laughs> August 1984. Received diagnosis of extremely high level mental disorders. Criminal trial canceled. I don't know what that means. That sounds really creepy. Some psychic abilities or something? Instabilities, mental instabilities. Like to an extreme. September 1984. Decision made to apply special measures. Committed to the psych ward at IMM Hospital in the 24 wards. Again, counseling and general treatment. <laughs> Like the period undisclosed. <laughs> the criminal of legend awakens. March 27th, 1999. Containing this treatment at IMM Hospital, Kamui murders a hospital worker and escapes. The victim is Kamui's personal counselor, Yuriko Sonora, 26. The weapon was similar to a customized harpoon gun. Damn. Wow. It's brutal. How did he get it? How did he get, get that, that gun? gun? I don't know. Between 10 and 11 p.m. At that time, the tracking surveillance satellite in geostationary orbit began tracking the point representing Kamui. At 11.15 p.m. of the same day, deployment of Public Security Department Special Forces Unit Republic was decided. At 11.45 p.m., Republic arrives at the woods in E-Ward, to which Kamui has escaped. Operation Secure Kamui begins. By 11.55 p.m., Republic fails to secure Kamui. Two killed in duty, two injured. Just past midnight at 12.38 a.m. on March 28th, satellite track on Kamui disappears. Kamui is assumed to have gone underground in an untrackable area. 24 Wards Heinous Crimes, Unit 2 Special Agents. Itzabama, Sabi, and Sumio Kadai head to the scene of the crime, IMM Hospital. Mm, it's scary. Yeah. This is really unsettling. It's like, yeah, that's like, like how did he have access to yeah, this harpoon gun? Exactly. It's crazy because in the hospital. And how did he just disappear? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
character got spooked pretty badly, you know? I would be too, jeez. We'll go over the plan one final time. Target all points bulletin number K1597783. A goal is to bring Kamui Urahara in alive. The target is thought to be armed. We don't know what sort of weapon. Armament level Z. Bring him in. If we're capturing him with Z level armaments, then why Save your questions for later. I'll continue. But these are orders from up top. Just follow them. Don't think. Keep your shit together. Got it. Okay. <laughs> that looks so dorky. <laughs> According to 
satellite tracking data, the target doesn't seem to have left here. Convert the target to point GF03 and secure him. Clean everything up within the 100 second countdown after we begin. That is all. About the armaments. What is it, Sakamoto? What if it's difficult to bring him in alive? Our main goal is to bring him in alive. We find ourselves at an extreme disadvantage. This plan needs a guaranteed human survival rate of 60% in order to be a plan. Throw the remaining 40% yourselves. Got it. To be in a situation, I may join you. Good luck. Inamata, chill out. He's only one guy. This will be no problem, right? Dot dot dot. Uh-oh. Look at Ezra. This guy has wiped out his emotions. Don't equate me with him. Frigid bastard. Fucking control yourself. Otherwise you're just gonna die. Die, huh? I'm gonna die. Just me? Hinamata. Even a cauliflower, only I got shot. By some regular citizen. That little punk bastard. It's because you underestimate the power of crime. Even a normal citizen, your desire to hunt a person is high enough, has the power to commit a crime. It can even be tougher than us, you get that, right? Who shot him, though? It didn't even, like, really yeah. discuss it. It's just like, they walk into the room, and it's like, oh, I'm shot. Yeah, it could have been that punk from, like, the start. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Inamata, you're invested in terms of that power. It's impossible. I can't... You need to have more criminal power than the target. Disposal is the same as crime. Just hunt the target. Keep that in mind. You can't lose. I think if it is hunting, I can't be beat. It's the same as training. As far as the ability to secure a target goes, Inamata, you're better than anyone. I know. You ready to, Ezra? I'm just like, a vegetable. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Aww. Basically, like, not there. <laughs> yeah. Chief, we're ready to go. Okay. Turn your radios to channel 2. We'll move on uh, my zero count. Just keep the mission. We'll enter formation once we find the target. Second letter, move ahead until we find the target. Eleven forty-five. Follow the trail. Oh, that's not creepy at all. Yeah, it's super dark. There's a radar though. Oh, 
hot twisters. Die like that, Ezra. Laugh at me, will you? The only thing this old man can do is get his revenge. <laughs> we just like to have fun, that's all. Kamui will be showing up soon, right here. Ezra, do you know the phrase? Flower, sun, and rain? Oh, that game! <laughs> ah, the game! I wonder if. What are you getting out here? The answer is inside Kamui. Don't let him get to you. Kamui isn't here. Kamui is right next door. Kamui is just peeking in. That's not creepy. You get me? That's right. It's the time we said goodbye. Take care. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, this interface is like so intense. I'm really enjoying this. It's so it feels like a lot to take in and piece together for sure, you know? But I'm liking it. Okay, so it's March 28th, 1999. 
had a have a sense of humor mm-hmm. i always really enjoyed um dialogue in suda's games i always thought it was yeah, it's usually pretty, pretty creative uh, pretty creative pretty well put together yeah. sewer lines okay <laughs> So where to? Just past the sewer. Are the Unit 1 guys here? Yeah. Jisuka and Murakawa should be. Sure, I'm going to jump on the piece and score. Let's hurry. Hurry up, big dick. Let's investigation. Yeah. 
<laughs> Maybe. <laughs> it was kind of comical. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, I'm really curious to know more about like what's going on in this really strange case. Yeah, like there's not too much of a backstory yet. Mm -hmm. But it's kind of yeah, we're gonna get more soon. I hope everybody's enjoying this stream and enjoying this weird ass game. I'm really liking it. It's not the most successful game to be playing, I gotta say. Yeah. But I thought that I would show it, especially since it was just released. And if you want to see more of it, you just you just tell me. <laughs> and we'll play more of it. Naka, get everyone together. We want to gather info on the events leading up to here and how we'll move forward. Twenty-four Ward's heinous crime prevention chief director Katabuki Shinji. Japanese age one, sex male affiliation, 24 awards, famous crimes, units, units, unit, unit boss, deeply insightful and very conscientious and sympathetic. Consequently, his popularity is amazing. He doesn't directly go out into the field, but he provides crucial support from the sidelines. This is a never solved by chasing them from Katabuki's point of view. You have to wait patiently. He is a man who knows how to manage people. It's good to know. Got it. Oh, I love these, these character designs. This really does remind me of old school SMT, though, for yeah. sure. What do you mean by savage? I, I, maybe I'm not understanding your use of the word Project Faith. I'm curious. I mean, do that kind of stuff all the time. Like, I remember trying to talk to people about like what degen means, and everyone seemed to have like a different yeah. like understanding of the word. You like the old school feel? Cool. Okay, we got here Crimes Unit One Special Agent Nakatagawa. Morichika. Mori oh, you got. You don't have a fun name. <laughs> it's not gonna be fun to talk. Japanese, age 35, male, 24 words, heinous crimes, unit one, weapons, sig pro. The central man usually works investigations alone. Originally from the public security department, he has connections all over the place. He's also close with neighboring jurisdictions and support investigations with his own info. His trademarks are his slicked back hair and pressed shirts. I'm gonna fuck up and get it done. Twenty-four words against President 2 Special Agent Kasabi. 
Katsugoro. Yeah, I love the way. Oh, I get what you mean. It is pretty savage. I, I, I understand that now. It's really good though. It's got a really nice, like, really rough feel to it. It makes it feel that much more like realistic, you know? It feels a lot like cop drama. It does. It does feel like a cop a, a crop drama. <laughs> a cop drama. <laughs> Okay, age 44, male affiliation, 24 words, heinous crimes, unit 2, weapon, cult, officers, ACP. Out of loyalty to veteran detective Kazuki, joined the heinous crimes unit upon, his, upon its establishment. He sometimes acts as senior stalker, he sometimes troubles the younger agents with his explosive behavior. More afraid of being hated by his daughter than anything else in the world, Kasabi is seriously considering queen smoking. And yet he has that little cigarette right there. Currently, his biggest source of worry is his eldest daughter, Toriko's overseas studies. Let's get started. Ooh, okay, that's, um, 24 awards, Hans Crimes Unit 2 Special Agent who dies soon. I like how we're like getting raised from now. 26. Male. Weapon 6. Sawyer. P229. Yeah. It's so sad. Back then, the 24 Awards HC unit, he works investigations together with Kasabi. Not one to conform to more conflict. Not one to conform to nor conflict with the police force. He knows his place and puts all of his focus on crime. Where's Morikawa? Special Agent Hachisuka Shizu. Japanese 25. 24 Wards Famous Crimes Unit 1. 6 Sawyer P232. Assigned to the HC unit as Mary Kawa's partner, a beautiful female detective, originally worked in the crime lab. Her father is 24 Awards Mayor Kaori Hachisuka. She's really serious and hard working when it comes to her duties. She's quite proud and tends to stick out within the department. Not very well liked by Kasaki. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. Special Agent Murakawa Kiyo Kiyoshi. Japanese Lady Mail Beretta uh, M92F. Join the HC unit together with Kazabi from the time it was established. One of the oldest members having learned the basics of investigation from Kazabi. Known for his excellent investigation work, he is a support specialist. Which's investigative style is veteran level. Strongly trusted by Katabi, he is usually tasked with writing up silver case reports. Hello, this is Nagatagawa. Hello, Ohio. He is escaped from the hospital isolation ward and has killed four people. He's currently still at large. Harold is assumed to have made his way into the city, but he is currently in hiding. Now, three things. First off, something I'd like everyone to be consistent with. The official name of this case is the Carmel case. It's a good, simple name. Second, I'd like you all to watch this video. I just you can start the tape. This video comes from a guard robot. Well, how thorough. Class for it. I can't. It'll damage the tape. Never let it play. There in the back is where the counseling room is located. Yeah, so what? What about it? This is where the female victim was. At the time of the murder, she was wearing her own clothes. So she was going home? Yes. It's a scene. The hospital, this large, is changing like this. The job requires a unit of body to be the most concerned with health and safety. And once on private clothes while entering or leaving, it's prohibited. Oh. 
creepy no no no. <laughs> like i'm just gonna stare at you
it's just like keep on doing stuff.
Community Project made and I really to follow these you can't just like decide how you want to walk yeah you have to follow the triangles this is music by the way like oh. this is some beeping weird hmm. where's no Odd. Yeah. So, like, where do you want me to go, dudes? Apparently, something has changed here, though, that we must take note of. Can I go back up here? Alright, let me go back up. I don't want to oh, I don't want to enter. Let's see. <laughs> okay. I'm sure that we'll know. <laughs> we have to, right? Hmm. 
going to be funny if there was like someone behind us. It's like, oh my god. Actually, yeah, I wouldn't put it like past this game to put like a jump scare somewhere. Yeah, totally. Can you shut up? Stop it! Let's like have someone. Maybe. That'd be really cool. What? I guess it just counts as a song, so it just like loops. <laughs> I guess. It's very strange. Yeah. I wonder. I wonder where we're supposed to be. It's always one of the more frustrating parts about these kinds of games is just trying to figure out what you're supposed to do. Yeah. It's like, what do? What do you want from me? Yeah, this one's not like super clear either. <laughs> it's like, you'll find something different look, like, up from and down. everything else. Mm, that's weird. Yeah. It's a mall. I'm supposed to fuck. <laughs> Yay. I wonder what they want me to see. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the heck? How? Wait, why was that not there before? Oh my god. Oh. Some crazy ass video. Wow. That's nuts. Yeah. This is a crazy game. <laughs> she fell so slowly. She's mm -hmm. like, oh, descending. <laughs> Office 24. Thanks everybody for sticking around on this stream and watching me play the silver case here with my friend Lewis. Yeah, I was like waiting for something to happen too. It's like, where's he gonna be? Where's the dead person? <laughs> but yeah, it's really awesome having you all here. It's been really fun. It's a very strange game to be live streaming, but I hope you're enjoying yourselves. So it's all gone to hell. <laughs> Sorry. It's my fault. It's stupid to have entrusted it to an amateur. Don't worry about it, Ezra. It's not your fault. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it like that. I'm not blaming you. It's okay, Texter. You'll recover. Don't worry about it. I'm going in. Boss. Sorry, old man. Go ahead and give it to me straight. Go cool down a bit. Roger that. Anything we can do about it, boss? Not at all. We have to consider unit one and two. Do I not get to freak out? Leave it soon now. Soon now. We'll take care of this witness. Take him along on the investigation. Got it. Test him. We'll take a chemi outside once in a while. We don't often get to rest. I've booked you into a nice inn. Go enjoy the hot springs, old man. Pretty sure we're probably close to the end of this chapter. Yeah. It's a little hard to say, like, what makes for a chapter, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, how, how are these going to be sitting in front of each other? So here we are. This is all we can do. We don't have enough samples. Point D208. This is connections to power. We're concentrating in this area. What about here? Our studio gladiolus. Well, how I used to work here. But in this place, there are several other places we used to work. On his own? No. He had a woman named Ayame Shimahira. He used to work here. She's still working here. Gladiolus is a woman trained to fight here. Contact you carelessly, right? Oh, 
what is this one yesterday? Well, I like how we do things in your routine. Teaching our rules. You have time to show our rules, especially when we're not talking to you. Right now, though, what I really like. Yeah. It was squeaky, so. Thank you. 
Do a stare off. <laughs> interesting. Yeah. Like, what is happening? <laughs> It'll be really cool to see this all like piece itself together. Mm -hmm. that's yeah. So far, every piece doesn't have like an actual conclusion. It's just kind of like building up. Yeah, I know, right? It's slowly building up. It's gonna build up to something really good. Like, Oh, it's just it's a matter of like when, when is this gonna happen? It's pretty slow. I mean, it's supposed to be. It's just okay. so that's kind of like, the electrical salt is right for our eyes. Yeah, I agree. Doing nothing for Tommy. 
part from the back of the toe sign. And then you push your hand over to slide your arm. You can't do that. You can't. According to NACA, Central knows we've captured Kamala. How does Central know? He's here on Central's arm. What? Central trying to purposely keeping him at arm's length? In some sort of scheme? Scheme? There's a lot of questions. What? Scheme? What's happening? Like, everyone's like super confused. Yeah. What is this? A TV show? So it's the end of the line. Can't get anything from the girl who found him? It would be dangerous to get her close to Kamala. It would be fun. She might kill him or anything. She did try to kill him, you know. Hold on. She didn't kill him, did she? Are you sure she really wasn't trying to kill him? Why would she have to lock him up in her house? And why would she be the only one Kamala didn't kill? Apparently, he was passed out in front of her door. He was so exhausted from all that action. Doesn't make sense. Maybe it isn't that he didn't kill her, but that he couldn't kill her. That's how he was found. I wouldn't be surprised if he simply wasn't able to kill her. So, right? How long has been like that? Oh, a long time now. You mean ever since he escaped? Yeah. He wasn't capable of killing anyone. He had a weapon. That's not what I mean. I mean, he's physically unable. Physically? What about his medical records? I checked them. What did they say? A lot. No, I mean about his condition when he was apprehended. Hypersynthetic disorder. Capable of living on his own. Well then, how was he able to escape? He was faking it? Do you think he'd be able to do modern medical technology? Maybe a criminal, but yes, that would be impossible. Yeah, you know, that's just his shell. He doesn't have the power to kill anyone. He hasn't killed anybody. We're talking about comedy, though. He isn't some kind of ghost, you know? He's just a man. A legend is a legend. Well then, who? No way. What was Kali doing while he was on the run? He was locked up. Why would he need to be locked up? In order to make the crimes look like Kamali had committed them? Bingo! Oh, that's why D coined it. Katsuka! Shit! No, what happened? You're gonna get. What's happening? Can I grab that? What happened? Oh no. Oh no! I'm sorry, she got away. Oh Christ. I'll contact the medical unit. A crazy lady. Let's go, Ezra. There's only one place Ayame would go the shelters. Ooh. I'm getting heated. Wow, she got away fast. Yeah. How did what, how did she travel? Just like hijack someone's car, maybe? Yeah, that's probably. It's actually pretty good. I'm not sure if that's sufficient to carry something. She's got to be as well. Let's split up and look at her. Check her out in the back. Let's go check the front. She's going to contact me if I need to go. Holy crap. Wow. Okay, we're going to save here. Because, like, this is a lot. Can I save? Yeah, I think you should uh, still press something and ask me. Well, but the thing is, um, yeah, this is a little, a little too, uh, this is gonna take a while. <laughs> I don't want to keep you any more, Lewis. Yeah, no worries. I'm glad you, I'm glad you enjoyed this video. Yeah. Okay, this is kind of scary. Uh, I feel like I'm in Aliens right now. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna save here. We're in the middle of the chapter, or towards the end of the chapter, hopefully. But this is gonna take a while, and it's getting late. I don't know what time it is. I have no clue. Um... Alright, it's 2 o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Um, but yeah, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this little dose of the silver case by Suda51, his first project with Grasshopper. I'm enjoying it so far. It's very convoluted. It's very mysterious in nature. Wow, it's 1 a.m. there, bro? Cool. Well, thanks for sticking around. I really appreciate everybody here. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello, Steve. I'm actually just about to end this stream. We've been going on for a while now. I've been like till 11 since 11 30 or so but uh yeah thank you so much everybody for tuning into this really strange stream uh the game was just released on thursday so i thought i would do this and it's very yeah it's been very interesting yeah you did just catch the end of the stream steve i am so sorry yeah Remo, it's really weird i really enjoy it though i feel like it's gonna be really interesting piecing everything together so far we played two hours 36 minutes we got 8% of it done. Wow. We got quite a bit more to go. Quite a bit. But, uh, yeah. Really hope you enjoyed this. Super fun. And, you know, do stay tuned for more of these. These are going to continue happening for a while. Oh, I forgot that's where the, the thing was. The, yeah. Uh, the webcam. I'm like, wait, what? Yeah, hopefully you didn't get in the way of anything. <laughs> yeah, I think I might actually consider putting together, like, a template so that we have, like, a, just a little window and yeah. then I have the thing. I just need someone to help me do that. Or maybe I'll just do it. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But anyways, thanks so much, everybody, for tuning in. Thanks so much, Lewis, for yeah. joining in on the stream and checking out the game with me. And a pun. Yeah, it's been so much fun. So I hope you all have a great night. Do see you tomorrow for a horror game review thing, video, secret, top secret <laughs> thing. I think you'll enjoy. We'll be around noon, maybe around like 11 or so. We'll see you then, okay? All right, thanks again. Tune in for more streams. I will see you all later. Peace.